Welcome to the latest Motley Fool scoreboard. I'm on in Chocomalu. We've got longtime fools Travis Hoyam and Jose Naharo giving a 1 to 10 rating to maybe the most mission critical company on planet Earth. It's Taiwan Semiconductor, ticker symbol TSM. We'll also make fun of Travis for not having a gaming chair, uh, but we'll talk about the business first, rate the strength of Taiwan Semi, including factors like industry and competition. A 10 is invincible, a 1 is hopeless. Jose's at a nine. Travis, you're at a 10. Yeah, this is the dominant chip company in the world. If you want to do the snap test with any company and be really worried about what happens next, TSMC is probably that company. Companies like NVIDIA, Apple are completely reliant on TSMC for their, their products. I mean, they wouldn't be able to sell any of the things that they're selling right now without TSMC supply. So love the business, love their leadership position and how they continue to innovate and get better and better. What's not to like? Yeah, I, I'm, I I agree with Travis here. If there was one company where the snap test would show the perfect example of how critical this company would be, it would be TSMC. Uh, the only reason I give it a nine is I, I don't know if I would ever consider any company invincible. I mean, this stock um, is dominant, um, huge market share, uh, over fifty percent of market share in the in the manufacturing business, and next in line, second player is in the low team. So it just shows how large of a lead they have. Now, there's still that competition, right? Even though it's minimal, Intel and Samsung, who knows, maybe can can have a miracle and, and they start to produce some great chips. Um, and the other kind of uncertainty is there's a lot of China and U.S. tension. And this is something that's always been discussed, um, but it's always a topic to kind of keep in mind of. Taiwan Semi's risk is Intel at the, in the basement in the beginning of the rom-com. Lost his job, hasn't had a job in five years, just schlubbing around. Mm -hmm. But he'll win by the end of the movie, maybe. <laughs> That's why it's a nine for Jose. Uh, we got management. A 10 is Warren Buffett. A one is Homer Simpson. Jose's at a 10 now. And Travis, you're at a nine. Yeah, hard to argue with a company that is this dominant in the market. CC Way has been the leader of TSMC for really most of their rise uh, since, you know, kind of the early days with Apple in particular, they were kind of the ones that funded the leading edge nodes uh, kind of early on in the early to mid 2010s. So I, uh, what am I going to criticize with a company with a leadership team that has put the company in that kind of a position? Also now moving to diversify their geography, especially in the U.S. with their plant in the U.S. and Arizona. So uh, I, I think there's a lot to like about this leadership team and a lot of the challenges that they might face, like you're saying, geopolitically, kind of out of their hands. Yeah, I'm going to give them a 10. I mean, I think management has been great at handling cycles. Um, the other thing that I really do enjoy about TSMC's management is I listen to their earnings call and management says it how it, how, says it how it is. If it's a bullish market, they'll let you know it's bullish. If it's a bearish market, they'll let you know it's bearish and there's no in-betweens for them. The other thing is, because this is a manufacturing business at the end of the day, um, I would want someone to be able to control wallet spending. And management has shown that really well. They don't spend a lot of money. Um, even when there is this crazy overhype cycle, management is always careful with how they diversify and how much equipment they buy. So I think management is just great at running um, the cyclicality of the semiconductor space. Gotta love it as an analyst when the company's like, oh no, it's slow. Oh, thank God. It's not snow in, in Minnesota or something. Oh, okay. All right. Financials. A 10 is a fortress. A one is yikes. Both of you have 10, Jose. Yeah. I mean, with this being the number one player, they have strong pricing power and they have huge innovations to be able to continue with that lead. So that pricing power, I don't think at the end of the day, if they increase their prices, which they do every time they announce a note, People might complain, but they're still going to go back to TSMC. There's no competition. And like I said, pricing power is key for those financials. Yeah, that pricing power is going to hit in 2025 when TSMC sees companies like NVIDIA generating incredible margins and says, you know what, we want a little bit of that for ourselves. They have a net margin of 40%, which is just crazy. I, I mean, not a lot of companies in the manufacturing business can have that kind of a net margin. So you have the fact that they have a phenomenal existing business and it's a capital intensive business, it's going to be tough for anyone to catch up. We've seen that over the past few years with Intel. So love everything I'm seeing from their financials. No competition, Jose. How many times do we have to tell you? Seth Rogen is Intel in the movie <laughs> Semi Good. We've got valuation next, Travis. Uh, how well will Taiwan Semi stock do over the next five years? 
How safe is it? A 10 is a, uh, no, 10 is not a lottery ticket. 10 is a sure thing. One is a lottery ticket. I kind of punted here a little bit and said five to 10%. I really like their valuation 18 months ago or so when it was in the low double digits, gotten a little bit more expensive. So I don't want to get too high from expectations uh, from investors. So I said five to 10%, but safety score is an eight because I do think this is one of the most consistent businesses in the chip space right now. Yeah, and I'll start off with safety score. I gave it an eight as well. Uh, I don't see within the next five years any real competition coming here. Um, the only thing that can kind of hurt this would be a cyclicality change, um, but that would be just an overall market issue, not a TSMC issue. Now, five-year return, I would give it around five to 10. I feel like this is kind of market performing returns. TSMC is a huge company already. They're going to move with the overall cycle. So for those reasons, I, I just see this kind of providing similar returns to the market. Very suspicious. Travis says he punted and has the same scores as Jose. We'll, we'll let that slide. Moving on to top it. Travis, is there a company in Taiwan semi space that you like better? You can't cheat off of Jose. No, there's Shocking. not. Shocking. No answer. <laughs> Uh, for me, I'm going to say in the manufacturing business, like we saw no competition except someone on their basement, um, in their basement, but uh, maybe indirectly from manufacturing are the equipment players. And right now the equipment market is, seems to be pretty attractive. So I would put ASML as a contender. Right. Thank you to both Travis and to Jose. They've given Taiwan Semiconductor an overall score of 8.4 out of 10. That means I'm buying shares. You know, I was, I was thinking <laughs> like, NVIDIA was close earlier, but no, Taiwan Semi is getting my money. Look out for a new scoreboard every market day at 7 p.m. Eastern. Next up is Lincoln Electric. Till then, full on. I think the 11, what did we say, $11 billion company or something?